Introduction to Genes, Mutations, and Genetic Disorders It might sound complicated, but soon enough you will see that it is quite simple. Imagine that every cell in our body is like a factory. Like any factory, it needs tools and machinery in order to operate. The tools in our cells are proteins, the same proteins that are in our food. During digestion, proteins are broken down to later be used by our cells to generate tools. In order to build tools, the factory must use assembly instructions, and indeed all assembly instructions are stored in a vault inside the factory. This is DNA. What is the role of genes, you might ask? It's easy. A gene is a single assembly instruction. A gene is part of the DNA. Most of the genes in our body hold assembly instructions to build tools, to build proteins. For example, if a factory is required to create 1,000 new pliers, it will fetch the assembly instructions for a plier from the vault and will generate the pliers. But if there is an error in one of the instruction steps, the factory will produce faulty pliers. In other words, if there is a mutation in a protein encoding gene, the proteins may be faulty, which can lead to a genetic disorder. Still, the majority of mutations will not cause a genetic disorder. Look at this protein. It is not perfect, but it can certainly be used by the cell, and no disorder will be found. A protein like this can't be used by the cell, and the result can be a genetic disorder. There are even scenarios where the assembly instructions are distorted in such a way that the cell can't even build the protein. This can also cause a genetic disorder. You may remember that most of our genes have two copies that we got from our parents. We can differentiate between different sources of genetic disorders. 1. Two copies with a mutation in the same gene. Two copies of defective proteins. 2. Sometimes, mutations in two different genes in conjunction can lead to a genetic disorder. 3. Mutations in only one gene. That means that half of the proteins will work as they should. Note this is the common cause of de novo mutations, mutations that weren't inherited. You might wonder, why would a genetic disorder arise when half of the proteins are working as should? There are two scenarios. Either the quantity of the proteins matters, there is a need for many proteins and only 50% are produced as should, or that the defective proteins cause damage to the cell. At times, both of these scenarios can occur simultaneously. Genetic mutations, without any relation to a specific gene, are categorized as follows. Missense. In this mutation, only a small part of the protein is defective, but at times, even a small part can be important. Nonsense. This mutation will cause the cell to stop producing the protein in the middle of the process. Frame shift. This mutation distorts the entire assembly instruction. It can severely damage the protein. Splice site mutation. These types of mutations can subtract parts of the protein or add parts to the protein that were not meant to be produced. Why is it so important to know this? There could be a drug that can treat all possible conditions in a certain gene, but in most cases, there is no such drug. The strategies to treat specific mutations are more realistic and can lead to a cure for specific conditions. Knowing your mutation type is your first step toward a cure. See you later!